that child is no longer a broken kid. And everything is repairable with love. The assembly I was doing allowed kids to come down to the microphone and just say what they needed. During the two-hour assembly, kids actually stood up and revealed a lot of their personal hurt. They also revealed how much they appreciated their teachers or friends and brought them down. They talked openly about their dreams. The whole point of the assembly was to get real. So at the end of that assembly, when everybody left, everybody left and go back to their classroom, and the whole gymnasium was now silent. Nobody was in the room, the lights were off. And across the gymnasium floor walking toward me was the counselor of the school and this young boy named Sebastian. And she said, you know, this Sebastian wants to talk to you. Sebastian and I went up to the top of the bleachers and we sat out in the corner. He's had his hood over his face, covering his beautiful face, good looking young boy, slender. And he just sat with me and he said, I threw a brick through a business window last night, broke the whole window. And my mother can't pay for it. In fact, we're being foreclosed, we're going to have to move out of our house tomorrow. And he said, and I'm going to be kicked out of school and go into juvenile hall today. But I just want you to know that from the assembly, I realized that I was making bad choices. And I think I could change. I want to change. I really want to change. And I said, but tell you what, Sebastian, I'm going to be doing a student leadership program this afternoon in a couple hours after lunch. Why don't you get out of class and come? I want you there. And that afternoon, there's like 40 of the student leaders in there, and Sebastian, who wasn't a part of this group, had come in, still with the hood over his head. And we were dialoguing what happened in the assembly and, and people were really uh, crying and hugging and, and talking about the good things that they were doing in this world and saying we need more positive reinforcement, just like this, that it felt so right. And I said, well, Sebastian, come forward. I said, would you tell everybody what you told me? And I threw a brick right through a window. I was angry. My mother was called by the police and she didn't have any money and we're going to lose our house tomorrow. I'm going to be kicked out of school. I was told today I'm going to be kicked out of school. He said, and I just want you all to know that, um, that I don't, I, I know that I've been doing bad things and I'm sorry. And I looked around the room and I said, who would like to tell Sebastian what he's been doing right? And one by one, each of the kids, one of them said, Sebastian, you've got a sense of humor. You make me laugh. Another kid says, you know, Sebastian, uh, this year I was having a tough time in reading class, and you're smart, and you helped me read. And one by one by one, I didn't tell anybody what to say. They kept feeding Sebastian with what he did right. And you should have seen his body puff up. He still had the hood on, but he took it in like he drank it in. That evening, the school had had a special dinner for me at a restaurant. And they were all chatting away about what happened during the day. And Sebastian's teacher, his eighth grade teacher, said to me, he's sitting right next to me at dinner, and he said, you won't believe what happened. He's telling the whole table. Sebastian came into my classroom at the end of the day, sat down and apologized to me for making my life miserable. For the last year, I had been trying to do everything to get that boy to see how great he could be. I couldn't get into him, nothing. He was just hard, he was cold, he was angry. But today he was just open and loving. And then I leaned in and I said, okay, about an hour ago, right before you all picked me up for dinner, I get a call on my cell phone from Sebastian. I told him to go home and honor his mother with a blue ribbon that says who I am makes a difference. Tell her how much he loves her. 
I said, she deserves to hear that. He calls me up and says, my mom is crying now. I told her all the good stuff about her, how much I loved her. I told her how sorry I was, that I was making bad choices, and that I was going to make different choices from that time on. And he said, I think things are going to change. They're changing now. And I found out that one, Sebastian was not kicked out of school. He was not put in the juvenile justice system. I can't tell you what happened, whether the house got saved or how the business window got repaired. But I can tell you that in that particular moment in time, that love changed a boy's life forever.